Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. And this is a, I don't know, a minor rant about the season, oh, sorry, series finale of Game of Thrones. It just wrapped up about 10 minutes ago. And... uh, Spoiler alert, I am going to be talking about the episode. First, Jon Snow is a fucking emo. I'm sorry. From a character that I... I almost had a man crush on, but I certainly really enjoyed the character for the first six plus seasons. Jon Snow is the most indecisive wishy-washy whiner piece of shit that I have seen in fucking ages. Swear to God, if I was a cop that had to work with a fucking jackass like that, I'd want nothing to do with him. It's like, oh, well, I want to do the right thing, but nah, I'm in love with my aunt. Uh, I'm like, fucking Christ, man. Grow him a fucking set of balls. Now, he does admittedly uh, grow a set of balls when, again, spoiler alert, if you haven't stopped listening and you haven't seen the episode, it, it, this is going to be a spoiler. We've all wondered who was going to kill Danny, right? Uh, and w- w- was it going to be, oh, I don't know, uh, Little Miss, uh, I kill everybody with the multiple faces that I haven't pulled a face out in fucking seasons. A little killing machine that took out the, uh, what was it, the Night King? The Walkers? No, it, it isn't her. You thought it might be her. No, it isn't her. No. Again, spoiler alert. I want to say, oh, you didn't tell me. It's fucking spoiler alert. The whole thing is a spoiler alert. All right. Jon Snow kills his aunt as he sucks face with her, which he refused to do. So the moment I saw him sucking face with her, I was like, well, one or the other is going to kill one or the other. All right. So Jon kills Danny. The dragon, who knows mommy is now dead, doesn't kill Jon, melts the throne down, whatever, um, and then flies off with, the, you know, with, with with dead mommy uh, and, and goes wherever. Now, I want to call him Worm Tongue, but I know it's not Worm Tongue. Gray Worm. Gray Worm. Yeah, worm Tongue is coming from the Lord of the Rings. Gray Worm is a fucking drone. Mindless piece of shit. Now, I understand, you know, the Bolas Wonder uh, l- lost his you know, girlfriend, spouse, dearly. I understand that. He loses, you know, Danny. I understand that. But mindless piece of shit. I, I could have forgiven the Dothraki if they were lopping off fucking heads because they've got pretty much, like, you know, no education. It's it's their culture. We don't take prisoners. We just, like, you know, kill the men, rape the women, whatever. But with Grey Worm, uh, again, what the fuck? And not only that, going to go back to Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Well, guess what? You're right. He knows nothing because he stops the the tongue. I call him the tongue. He stops the tongue initially from killing prisoners. and really, I was hoping, I was expecting for a clash of arms, Jon Snow being uh, uh, the moral compass of the show, right? Doing what is right at whatever cost, not what is uh, demanded of your queen or uh, convenient. Doing what is right. Living like his, uh, if we, maybe not his quote, birth father, but living a life like Ned Stark would have done it, even if it means his death. All right? Which he died once, so I guess he kind of did mean his death. 
But here he is letting his sense of honor, letting his sense of morality be put to the side because I'm conflicted. I love my aunt that is now insane and killed this city. And I could save uh, these fucking prisoners. But uh, no. The the unsullied are going to uh, take care of all the prisoners. All right. Going back to Danny. Danny the psycho. Uh, I, I can accept that. Don't you know? I, I was pissed last episode. I can accept the psycho, Danny. The season needed more episodes to get us where we are at. The final episode is not a bad episode. Not saying it's a. Uh, it, it's one of the top five or the top ten of the series, but it's not a bad episode. But it would have been one of the ultimate episodes if there was proper lead up to it. Five episodes don't do justice where nine would have done justice before. Uh, we dealt with uh, Psycho Ramsey for, what, two seasons? And yet we spend, uh, and I'm saying two seasons of like ten episodes each, and yet we spend six episodes wrapping up this fucking series. You know, it feels light. Now, so effectively, this series took seven and a half seasons because... The last two seasons were shortened. Uh, season seven was seven episodes. Season eight was six episodes. There was a year gap. You know what it fucking reminds me of? Uh, uh, but at least it, it, it's completed. Far fucking west. Right? Because here we are nearly seven and a half years after that fucking shit was completed. And we are no closer. So, Gareth... Uh, your ability to write is exceeded only by J.R.R. Martin, who, you know, this series it started, I guess, nine years ago, eight years ago, and it blew away its source material. It had to go into uncharted waters. Um, so John gets exiled to back to the night spot where he started things out. And the first thing he does after seeing the wildlings at Castle Black is go beyond the wall and has, I guess, the the two Night's Watchmen. Cause, so now he's removed one third of that fighting power, not that was all that much in the first place, uh, to go beyond the wall with the wildlings. So in other words, this was a deal to uh, keep you alive and... In the past, you would have said, all right, it's my duty. This is what I'm going to do. So now he says, fuck it. I ain't, I, 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 fuck the duty. Uh, I'm living for myself. But you know what? Once we got beyond the you know the source material, John's been living for him, fuck himself anyway, or living for Danny. He hasn't been living for justice. He hasn't been worried about morality. He's pushed it to the side because... Uh, loyalty to one's queen surpasses it all, and it didn't do that before for him. Now, I get that. These are the pieces in the puzzle where I go, mm. Bran. Huge spoiler alert. Unless you've been watching videos on YouTube, in which case I was not surprised. I just went, huh. The motherfucker was right. Bran uh, is the new king of the six realms, not the seven, because she who would not bow to any queen, uh, even though her brother is now the king, the north is going to go its own way. I, I hope they negotiated like a special like, you know, trade pact, you know, but I was, I was, ex I was expecting a lot worse. How's that for, uh, uh, a, a non-committal endorsement to the series. I I'm going to say the first six seasons were a hell of a fucking ride. Seventh season was bumpy. Uh, season eight could have been a lot better. The ending uh, was also mispaced in a way. I'm sorry, but 
the last two or three episodes could probably have been five and it would have felt more fulfilling. You, I feel like there are scenes that were deleted that would have explained more, but I guess the showrunners want to go on to the next show, which is not going to be Game of Thrones, and they wanted to get away from the shit as fast as possible, and, and that's just the results that we have. So, oh, by the way, uh, our, our killing machine slash girl of a thousand faces is going to go west beyond the map, which is that something else that I saw on YouTube predicting. So, uh, yeah, YouTube has some interesting predictions that were right. Next week, there's going to be a follow up non episode, it looks like, I guess, behind the scenes shit. I don't know. I guess fresh your Game of Thrones uh, mileage. It's a little bit longer. I, I'm in this weird spot because part of me wants to say some of the shit was really cool. And it was, and some of me wants to tell you that some of the shit was really just fucking bullshit, and it was. And it's like a half-assed rant. Not, I wouldn't even call it a rant right now because it wasn't horrible. It just wasn't. It didn't live up to its potential, potential, potential. Does that make sense? In any case, folks, it's wrapped up now. So if you haven't seen Game of Thrones and you listen to me uh, uh, going off on it right now, um, hey, it is what it is. Not a bad series. You'll enjoy the first six or seven seasons and then you'll get frustrated. The ending isn't bad just isn't as good as it could have been. Be safe. Be well. God bless. Roll your dice. Roll them well. And I will talk with you all tomorrow. Later, folks.